Welcome back, design students. Okay, so this is where we left off. We had some hair sticking out of these polygons, and we need to make the hair longer, obviously, and style it so that it goes down like a beard. So to do that, let's scroll down in our hair and fur settings and find display guides, check that box, and then uncheck display hairs. That'll just make it easier for us to work. Then we need to go up and find the style hair tools. So click that button and that turns them on. And let's not work here, let's work here first. Select uh, the hair by the ends. And that brings up these little vertices on the end here. And we need to make the hair longer. So let's find the tools here and select scale. And click that one. And then let's just simply scale them all out. Now if you want your selection to be smaller, then you need to make your brush smaller. And you can actually select individual guides if you are careful about it. But you can see here that the thing is like a cylinder, that's part of the problem. So once we get all the hair sticking out kind of far, because it needs to go down, we're going to turn off scale and we're going to select translate I think and now we're going to begin to move them so that they go down to the ground and we can start at the bottom and when you look at this you can see that we're moving some of them from the side and again that's because this thing is just like a big cylinder you can also see sort of the edges and the vertices of these splines as we move them around where they begin to crumple. And this takes some time. You just got to work with it. just start working on some more of them. I'm going to make my brush a little bigger. You can create selection sets with the hair that sometimes make it easier to work with. So you can select just specific groups of hair and work with them. And remember, if you need to work with individual hairs or sm smaller groups of hairs, then you simply need to um, make your brush smaller. Okay, so now I'm going to turn off styling for a second, and we're going to turn on the hairs. And we're going to see what that looks like. And then I'm going to turn on Arnold render view and see what that looks like. Now we don't want the hair uh, sticking inside the face like that so we need to pull the hair out this way at the roots. So to do that I'm going to get another tool, go back to the styling tools and there is one called fluff roots or puff roots. We grab that one. So to fix that, let's go ahead and turn off the hairs for a minute and display the guides again. And there's a tool in the styling tools called puff roots. That's the one we need. 
We also need to change to the uh, select whole guide mode here. And let's see if we can pull those out. Don't know why it wants to work from that side. Now if you want to lay them back down, you need to select that styling tool again and then pull them back back in. So let's turn the hair back on and see what that looks like. Oops, got to turn off the styling tools. And go to uh, Arnold Render View. And that doesn't look too bad. Let's unhide the hat and the feet. And you can see here we don't want hair coming through the hat. So we're going to have to tweak the hat a little bit. But I do want to see what that looks like. And that looks pretty good. Now to change the color of the hair, what we would need to do is tweak the material. It would take me a very long while to achieve this exact effect, and I don't want to make you watch me do that. But just know that in the material editor here, and it's probably easiest to do it with either Active Shade or Arnold Render View turned on, you need to work on these settings. Notice that I have a melanin redness setting here. If I pull that down to zero, then I get more brown. I have melanin randomness that's pretty low. Change that to 0.5 and see what that looks like. Okay, so I'm zeroing in on it here. I just wanted to share with you what I did. I made the melanin zero. I made my base color a dark gray. And I changed the transmission tint to gray. Another thing we would need to do here is we would need to make sure that the hair doesn't go down through the floor. So we would probably need to um, take the guides and pull them up off the floor a little bit. And uh, you could continue to try to style this so the beard comes to a point like this or whatever you want. But uh, that's just going to take time and I'm not going to make you watch me do that. You also need to make sure no hair goes through your nose, so you're going to pull that out. And to make uh, fuzzy balls like this and the fuzzy nose, you would simply add hair and fur to your spheres and make it short. And try to make the color correct. Remember to make the root thickness much less so it's um, finer and make the hair count more and then add another material to get the color that you want. For these you really don't need to style but what you do need to do is make sure that your uh, underlying geometry has the color that you want. In this case, it's kind of a beige. So I'm going to get a physical material here and make this kind of a beige with no reflection and 100% roughness. Other settings you could work with to make these look uh, more like they look here is uh, clumping and uh, frizz and kink. You could play around with these. Um, I'm going to play around with those. I'm not going to make you watch me do that. And in the next video, what we will do is put some textures on the hat and the body and the feet to make them look more like fabric. And I'll see you then.